Okay. I think, uh, I think I came from the wrong side this time. What's up, Sans? Let's hang out again sometime. That... That we shall do. What's up, MK? Yo! We're sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I'm gonna be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I will. All that gets, all that gets my life validation is explaining the echo flower. <laughs> no one can know. <laughs> Never trust a flower. That's one of the one of the constants of this world. Never trust a flower. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we'll just continue forward in the waterfall then. This is a box. You can put an item in or take the, an item out. Why would you? Why would you though? You can't, you can't use items when they're in a box. Sincerely, a box hater. Well, um, I don't think we'll need the bandage right now. Actually, we don't need a snowman piece. Why would we want to hold on to a snowman piece? I just, I need to say how embarrassed I am. I just tried to help hold X to run. God, I've been playing too much under I've been playing too much Undertale fan games and um Telter. <laughs> oh my lord. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? I mean no reason not to. You got the old tutu. Neat. Rocks. You know what? In all my time playing Undertale, I don't think I've ever noticed that the rocks freeze when I pause. That That's completely new to me, actually. I did not know this. Um, I guess we'll just equip the old tutu. No reason not to, really. Um, yeah, let's just let's move along. Let's see what's down here. Right, it's the second flower. I swear I saw something. Why that rushing water? Yeah, I kind of already grabbed that. Sorry. Sorry, hint. You didn't um didn't help in the slightest. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called about, called you about earlier? Uh-huh. Did I fight the human? Did I fight them? Uh, yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. Uh, what? Did I capture them? Uh, well, uh, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? Uh, but Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them, you see. You see. I, I understand. I I'll help you in any way I can. Ooh. I... What? Yeah, no, no, I'm done. So good. What the? T someone here? No way. Totally not. Wouldn't be me. Not here at all, Undyne. Can't find me. I hate that that eye goes away last. Oh. Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> oh, Monster Kid. Doesn't fully understand what the true... <laughs> what I truly am. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. It's 
classic pla these classic classic flower things. Also good Waterfall's got like such a dreary song for some reason. Like I don't know why. Aaron flexes it. No, 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 no. We are not fighting. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Ow. I always tend to just really poorly time that. And there he goes. Bye bye. Also, I want to get the boop. secret. I mean, to be honest, I could try and get the sign there, but I am not. I want this because this is more useful. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. There's a lone key sitting under this bench. Will I take it? Yeah, you got the abandoned quiche. Nice little healing item. Abandoned quiche, 34 HP. Psychologically damaged <laughs> Spanish egg pie. I'm so sorry to hear that. So sorry to hear that this egg pie has psychological damage. That's ne never a good thing. Ring ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number to <laughs> sequentially until I got yours. You had to go through a lot of numbers, Paps. Also, haven't I called you already? Couldn't just check the, like... Couldn't just check the dial? Like, the last number that called you? You get a lot of phone calls. <laughs> So, uh, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. Uh, she thought you saw... Uh, she thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? I mean, I can't lie to Papyrus. He's too innocent. I can't lie to him. Yeah, I am. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Uh, got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. <laughs> I like the idea he just... Literally winks at you. Wishing room. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you help with all of your heart, your wish will come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wish together. Together can't be war. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. King is this guy, and I don't think you're getting much of your wishes. Green means clean. Oh, oh, I... Yeah, let me just get hit seven times before I actually spare this monster. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Aw, he's my horoscope is the same as last week's! <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but I don't think your uh, stars in the sky change. Look through your telescope. Check the wall. Ooh. The other corner. <laughs> yeah, I already do this, but I, I don't know why I learned. Ancient writing pro covers the wall. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they could take its soul. A monster with a human soul 
a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There is something very unsettling about this drawing. Very unsettling. I always wonder what that drawing is. is I know. I think some people have drawn it similar to like Azriel's like form, but like. Oh, Pion died. Speaking of monsters, wanting my soul. Hi. Oh. Ugh. Can I no hit this, please? <laughs> I'm good with not dying, thank you. that as a no hit. Hi, MK. <laughs> By the way, I want to mention, I know in some of these previous parts, I haven't really broken the fourth wall as much, but I think it'd be more interesting to talk about the game. This game that I love so much. Yo! Did you see that? Once I just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, how are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <laughs> PMK. Oh. Squeak! This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's also stuck to the table. I would imagine so. Knowing the mouse might one day extra extract the cheese from the mysterious crystal, it fills me with determination. Squeak. But yeah, I've seen. I think I've seen people illustrate it as the as a, as part of the Azure fight. But yeah, that's about it. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? I mean, why not? <sighs> okay. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. You motherfucker. That motherfucker. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No. <laughs> no, unfortunately, small teardrop tear shaped monster child. Thing, I am not. Ooh. Nice serene. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm. Just one, but it's kind of stupid. Now we do I was gonna go over there because I know that's where the ballet shoes are, but. One, I don't really have the inventory, and two, the ballet shoes are more for fighting, and I'm not a fighter. Oh, oh you're, you're just spares. Okay. Hello, this is Papyrus. Uh, remember when I asked you about your clothes? Uh, well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very uh, murdery. Uh, but I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. Papyrus, what have you done? You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> you you keep believing that, Paps. You truly, God, you truly are just great. I hear a past conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Oh. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans fear. I... That's completely... Fair. Oh, no... Hi. Hey there! Knows you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? You're visiting waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but. Hey, that's okay. It means moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Unknown's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Great to help. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall! Bye. I never want to see him again. Nope. Oh. Hey! Um... Smile? You smile. You asked to see Siren smile too. Siren gets spider in the corner. Aaron. Aaron nods his head in approval. Oh. Hum. You hum a jazz ballad. Siren falls your melody. See, see me, see me, see me, see me. Whoa. Siren seems much more comfortable singing along. Yum some more. Monsters draw, draw are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it, it's it's a concert. See fa see fa see fa so. Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper. <laughs> yep, that's all I wanted to see. See a sign <laughs> for Shiren. The northern room hides a great treasure. Well, I know that. Actually, I'm going to use the monster candy so we have a little bit of room. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to per persist after death. Only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul. But this has never happened. And now it never will. Oh. Hi there, little dude. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seems dry. Oh. Please take one. No. I took an umbrella. I think someone deserves it more than me. What, the umbrella on the statue? You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a musical box begins to play. The music continues and doesn't stop. Yep. Oh, hey. Look at that. You know what? Let's do it. Usually it takes a second, but I think I can do it.
There we go. It, it just it takes a moment for me to do that. A haunt, a haunting song echoes down the corridor. When you play it, play along. Only the first eight are fine. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yeah. You're uh carrying too many dog. I... The annoying dog. Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Get in my pockets, Toby. You deploy the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. Do dog residue. Dog residue. Dog item. Dog-shaped husk shed from a dog car carapace. Oh, okay. I guess we have dog. Guess we have dog clump now. Bum, bye, bum, bum. Good song. Good song. Take umbrella. Take umbrella. And suddenly the ground loses all texture. Yo! You got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Alright. No time like thine present. Go on a walk with a small monster. Man, that is so cool. She beats the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. No, she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I guess I would. I don't know, probably not. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we call had to call him Mr. Asgore, or Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Sunday came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Don't uh, think that's going to happen. Um, maybe she wouldn't be up to teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. I uh, wouldn't be so sure about that. Also, fun thing I learned. The King's Castle. Let's keep moving. Guessing that's the castle of the king. Return the umbrella? Return the umbrella. Or do you return the umbrella? Yo! This ledge is way too steep. Yo! You want to see Undyne, right? Climb my shoulders. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yo, you going ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Bump. See you, kid. The humans after after our power declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. No, oh, I didn't even. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. This, this serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination. Huh. <laughs> I doubt anything bad will happen with... The... Oh. Oh. Hi, Undyne. I always get this. I always end up getting lost here. I try and not get lost and speared through the floor. Happens so many times. 
I'm already lost. Look, can you just... I... Let me... I got stuck. Nope, that's not it. Ah! Oh, hey, there's the end. I looked away. I looked away for too long. I looked away. I looked away. I shouldn't have looked away. <laughs> Don't spear me. I guess there's no other way. Hi, Undyne. This is a bit of an awkward situation. Okay, goodbye. Get flashbanged, everyone. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Ross, huh? That's a nice name. My name. Uh, memories. Our memories? I don't know. The waterfall here seems to flow from the from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a pile of trash, a piece of trash, will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. I have not had room in my inventory for a good for like a good bit now. I have not seen a nice box. Oh, he's a dummy. Seems like a regular training dummy. You want to beat it up? Nah. Just stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Too intimidating to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until you came along! Oh god, this voice is gonna kill me, isn't it? I can already feel it. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said... Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable! It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare you up your soul out of your body! You talked to the dummy. It, uh, doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Feeble! 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 Yes, yeah, sh shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Ow! You dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks! Hey, you! Forget I said anything about magic attacks! The dummy is looking nervous. I'll defeat you and take your soul! Mad Dummy is bouncing around, it is bossing around its bullets. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier! Ow, ow, ow. Mad Dummy is, okay, no, it's, he's still bouncing. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store! Dummy is getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Then everything I want will be mine! Oh, hi. Ooh, that was a full brontal assault. Huh? Yeah, I guess I'll avenge my cousin. Or that'll avenge my cousin. That barely hit him. What was your name again? You're a pretty bad cousin. 
Oh, admit that. Whatever. 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 Shoot him. Shoot your friend. Hey, guys. Dummies. 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures. You're all. You're fired. You're all being replaced. <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that are garbage. The chemical whirls fill the room. Oh my god, by the way, doing that voice is hurting my throat. Ouch. Dummy butt! Magic missiles! Oh, I missed that attack. Bad dummy is doing an armless ska dance. I... Dummy butt! Try again! There we go. Dummy butt! You're awful! The dummy is doing. Yeah, still. Dummy butt! Final attack! Ow! Still got. Ow! Oh my god, I got hit by, like, pretty much all of them. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys! Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends! I've got knives! <laughs> I'm... Out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever. Forever. Forever! <laughs> Forget it. I'm out of here. God, I feel like I was gonna pass out doing that voice for a second. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh. Well. I'm going to head home now. Oh, you, um, feel free to come with if you want. No pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Well, thanks, Naps Luke. Hey, the house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. I feel like calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. I know that there's a box over here. And the river person is down here too. Or not. The river person can come down there. Use the box? Yes, I do. Me want to use box. Me want to store dog residues. I am done with dog residues. I read bandage as banana for a second. It's actually something I want. Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale! Hey, do you want to know? Who are you? I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is e easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> What's that emblem? Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you and you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune! The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buttons can't name for beans. And what's the meaning of the emblem? That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below. And the winged circle above symbolizes is something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. 
Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Calling the Winged Circle the Angel of Death, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. <clears throat> oh my god, these voices are killing me. I went from like that yelling dummy to doing the, this old man, Jesus. Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Though grit, grit and determination alone. Through grit, through grit and determination alone. Sorry, I'm so old I can't read. She fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. Hide. <laughs> there is something I do want to buy. The torn notebook. We are not going to be fighting all that much, but the torn notebook adds a little bit of invincibility on top of our, um, on top of our current invincibility so we could we if we do get hit we can be immune for a little longer and uh seeing that we aren't really using our attack like at all it'd be a good idea to just buy the torn notebook and use that as our current weapon until we get something better that's something better it's in hotland so we're far from getting it at the moment we're kind of close, but not that close, essentially. Torn up book, please give it. Whoa, thanks. <laughs> Careful with that. Did you say something? Don't be shy now. That's actually everything I want. Be careful out there, kid. The... You equip the torn notebook with the torn notebook. We shall be a little more invincible. We also have a toy knife. Very useful. Oh, let's visit Naps the Blue. Don't really have Naps the Blue here. Straightforward. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Not much, but make yourself at home. Spiked it. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Uh, do you want to listen to some tunes? Or something? Are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yeah, sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you wanna... Do you want to join me? I mean, it's family tradition. I'll join in. Okay, follow my lead. There we go. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. You know what? I actually like to lie on the ground sometimes. It's very calming. Just a nice thing to do. Oh. I can... Well, I can tell you I've never had this happen lying on the floor. Whoa. Trip.
Okay, anyway, I mean, we probably should keep moving. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, I can look inside the room. It's empty. You still need to recover after all that lying down. Actually, there is one more thing I want to do. Uh, I mean... I mean, it... It is close. Why not? <laughs> what the heck is that music? I, I don't know, dude, but it's freaking me out. This is worse than Shiren. No way, Shiren is way less scary. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are weeks of fear. Forget it, this beat is too... filthy. Wash, wait, don't leave me. Is this creepy music my punishment for being, being creepy? Please stop, I'll never creep again. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> you feel calming, tranquil. Oh yeah, I already did the, that line. Oh, let's just leave it long. Oh, more, more lore. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. But this cursed place has no entrance or exit. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Well, speak for yourself. I'm down here. God. Inconsiderate signs. Not realizing that a human could just wander into stupid places because we're stupid and dumb. How effing dare they? Ha ha hi. Special enemy Temmie appears. Here to defeat you. You say hello to Temmie. Hoi! I'm Temmie! Okay, yeah, that, that's just mean. Feed, feed Temi Flakes. Temi only wants Temi Flakes. No, so hungry. Oh, no, 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 don't touch me. Don't touch me. No touchies. It is trying to glomp you? Okay, bye bye, Temi. Oh, yep. Uh, <laughs> is... Hi! Welcome to Tem Village! Hi! I'm Temmy! And this my friend, Temmy! Hi! I'm Temmy! And this my friend, Temmy! Hi! I'm Temmy! Don't forget my friend! Hi. I'm Bob. Hoi, you should check out Tem Shop. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Sh should check Tem Shop. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Humans, such a cute. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. It's, it's hard boiled. P, P, Tem hood. Human allergic to Tem. That okay. Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Oh. It symbolizes my inner torment. 
trapped here by my by my hyphen. Hyphen. I struggle to pull away. I struggle to escape. But alas, to no avail. Okay, good, good to know. Feeling of be feeling of being watched. Statue of Tem. Very famous. Very. Rich history of Tem. Very rich history. Oh, bye. Oi! Let's go to the Tem shop! Boy! Actually, there's something I can do here. It involves tough gloves. Uh, with the band aid away. With the toy knife. Because we aren't going to use those ever. Oi! Welcome to the tap shop! Whoa! You got the toy knives? Mm, I got to have the toy knives! But I got the paper cool egg! Mm, tap always want a toy knives! Yay! <laughs> And then tough gloves. Oi! Welcome to the Tem Shop! Oi! Welcome to the Tem Shop! Tem Flake. Tem Flake on sale. Tem Flake. Very expensive. Food of Tem. Discount food of Tem. Food of Tem expensive. Paper college. Tem pursue high. Pursue higher education. Hi, I'm Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy. <laughs> About yourself. Hi, I'm Temmy. <laughs> Please, it, can you elaborate on your your history? Us Tems have a deep history. You know, I just realized there is a photo of of the annoying dog over there. Why? why? About. Go to Tem. Go to Tem Shop. Hi. Thank you for your time. Boy. Thank you for your patronage. I yeah. We don't really have anything else. I guess uh. You feel something. You're filled with Temmy Nation. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, bye, Tammies. We'll see you next time or off camera to sell that dog residues a lot. Because, fun fact, I could use that dog residues with a slightly empty inventory and get a lot of money. So maybe that might be something I do off camera. And I'm now being attacked by everything. Hi. You wiggle your hips seductive. So you wiggle your hips suddenly. Ooh. Okay. I'd rather not die, please. Unhug. You don't hug m mold biug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Pass. What? What did it do? I'm sorry. I will. I will. I won't hurt you again. I will never, I will never be near you again. Goodbye. Bye bye. Boy. Why did I go this way? I like, I'm going to be honest, I like the Temmies. They're funny. They're funny little creature, creature, creatures. Uh, Washua, please. Clean. Green means clean. No. Damn it. No. Oh, I have an idea. Damn it, I should have. Whatever. Oh my god. And uh, all my. Yep. Cool. Flex more. Do the flexing. 
I please just do this attack. I like this attack a little better than the other one. Goodbye, sir. Me. Let's never let's never run into that guy ever again. I can still kind of see. I said kind of see, not that I could. I did imply I said kind of see. Well, well, this is just... Okay. Oh. Behind you! Oh, I don't have a good voice for Undyne. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king. King Asgore Dreamer. Will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He'll finally take the surface back from humanity. He give them back the surf. He give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Nope, no, 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 thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. Uh, Undyne, I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've, you've got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Probably. Probably not. How the hell did you hide behind this grass? I can't hide behind that grass. You hear a passing conversation? Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh? Or laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday? I'd like to climb this mountain we're all sta buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. Around, That's my wish. Hey! You said you wouldn't laugh at it. Oh, you hear laughter. I, I, I just assumed you did said you hear a and conversation. Yeah. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Well. Yo! Or, yo! Is there more nervous now? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're human, right? That's hilarious. Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Uh, Untang told me to uh, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? You know what? For once, I will say something mean. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Because I have to do it. <laughs> Yo, I, I hate your guts. I think whatever I said was... Might have been worse. I don't know what I said, but we said something. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm going to go home now. Oh. Yo, wait, help, I tripped. Well, there's no way we're going to let the kid fall. Y y yo, dude, if... If you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first.
Bye, Undyne. She's gone. Yo, it really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Uh, excuse me. Man, I really should go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Later, MK. What a, what a little goober of a guy. Oh. Oh, we are really... Oh, wow. Hotline's right over there. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. I mean, you don't have to. I kind of read it on all the walls back there. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? You! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. All oh, these history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swords, women. I don't think you're reading the right books. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. My throat hurts from that, nya. <coughs> and, and, and something been bothering me too. The whole time I was chasing after you, it felt like, it, I felt something strange. The echoes of something warm, something, something like, I miss <laughs> being friends with you. She remembers! I actually had no idea if she was gonna remember anything. I'm gonna be honest, I thought she was just gonna say the same stuff she's had said before. Like that. Like, I, I didn't actually expect this. I'm gonna be honest. But that's ridiculous! I would never get chubby with a coward like you! You! You must have been <laughs> like controlling me! Manipulating people with that. To make them like you. What a grade A freak. Now enough. For everyone's hopes. For everyone's dreams. And for my own freaking dignity. I, Undyne, will knock you down. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. That's it. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. Guard. I again. I genuinely didn't expect Undyne to remember anything. That was really. That was actually kind of cool. As long as you're green, you can't escape unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Oh no! I lasted a second against you. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The, bu the bullets get faster. Not bad. And how about this? Oh man, that that was so difficult. Oh, that was way too hard. That was way too hard. That was way too easy, bitch. You yes, we dreamed of a happy ending. Come on, Undyne. Too easy. And now sunlight is just within our reach. Okay, that's I think I think we're Undyne towers threateningly. I won't let you snatch away sa uh, I won't let you snatch it away from us. Nah, uh, enough warming up uh, Nope. See ya bitch. Run, 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 run! Ah! You won't get away from me this time! Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Easy. Easy, easy peasy. No whom has ever made it past Asgore. Ah, 
Too, too easy. Give me a real challenge, Undyne. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Okay, I think that's fast enough. Well, stop being so damn resilient. Whee. Oh, what the hell are human? What the hell are humans made out of? I didn't mean to actually spare. We're made out of meat and bones, and I'm running away. You ah! escaped from me for the last time! I'll be so meat humans were determined. I see now what she meant by that. Too slow! But I'm determined to! They're going to end this right now! Oop, I missed. Okay, I think that book helped me a lot there. Right now! Right now! <laughs> Ugh, die already, you little brat! Whee! Only got hit once. See ya, Undyne! Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think it would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. No! Stop running away! No, uh I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I had to see that, I had to see that, I had to see that. Worth it, worth it, worth it. water. Yeah, I don't feel like having this water. Oh, this cup's too cold. Oh, this cup's too warm. This, no, not this one. Not this one. Oh, is this? No, not that one. That one's pretty bad. Ooh, that one's gross. Ew, gross. Ew. Disgusting. Gross. This one's got smelly stinkies on it. Ah, uh, just right! Give the water to Dundine. I'm a very picky water person. Yeah, I saved your ass. See ya. Okay, let's see if we can get a cup for me. Oh, I that one. Uh -oh. Oh, I don't like that one either. Ugh. Oh, there, there's normal water left in the cooler. Damn it. A large putter, puddle forming. Oh, here we are. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, it's filled with determination. Okie dokie. Tra la la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I left a ride in my butt. Boat. I almost said butt. Because of that one Undertale thing. If Undertale was realistic. Another great series. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? I would like to head back to Waterfall so we can hang out with the Pyrus. And then we're off. Whee! 
la 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 beware the man who came from the other world. I've never heard of that one. Who's the man who came from the other world? Is it me? Am I the man who came from the man of world of other males? Come again sometime. Tra la la. I actually am shocked I haven't used as many items as I have. Ooh, piano. Oh, ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Can we hang out? Sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Oh, she was playing that. Hey, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Hey, boy, oh boy. Here, Undyne. Uh, my friend brought you, brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Uh, whoopsie daisy, I just remembered. I have to get to the bathroom. Uh, you two have fun. Oh, there he goes. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To, humili to humiliate me even further? Is that it? Not really. Why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? <laughs> yeah. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were you... If you were my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Don't get out of my house. Dang it. Dang. What a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait. Wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're gonna be besties. I'll make sure you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's a perfect revenge. Oh, why don't you have a seat? Oh my god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I can't believe he glipped through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. One time, Alfie's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie as detectively on a piano. Fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case, case of boy, this giant sword. Historically, humans wield swords up to ten times their size. R right? I mean, we should probably say true. I mean... Technically. <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? I mean, I've never met Alfie, so... I mean, I guess we should just sit and progress. Comfortable? I... Uh, let's get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Oh. Hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. I want to pick my favorite option first. This one. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. Well, I think it's Pretty, the blatantly correct choice, obviously. A tea, huh? Uh, come right up. Oh my god. Again, my throat is going to be suffering after this. Lordy. 
it'll take a moment for the water to boil. Um, the house the wet. Okay, it's all done. I want a teapot that makes a whoop noise whenever it's finished. How dare. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. Okay, let me just... It's not that hot. Drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. If you taste it beyond the burning sensation in your mouth. It's very good, right? Nothing but the absolute best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Uh, sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on try. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. But one day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Uh, like, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him that. I said that. Uh, he's just... Well, I mean, it's not that he, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. I would imagine so. Yeah, he he can hurt you um enough to leave you at one HP. Not even Toriel can do that. Toriel can accidentally kill you. But Pyrus, so much control over what he can do, he can leave you at one HP and capture you. So I'd say he's pretty tough and powerful. Just on that alone. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He get ripped into time... Into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook. You know. So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life? Oh. Sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, this cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh god, this is where my throat's gonna start dying, isn't it? That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine! But <laughs> afraid we're gonna be best friends! I mean, not really, it's kind of what I wanted. Let's start with the sauce. Is that a banana? Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now pound them to dust with your fist! How will you pound? Strong or wimpy? Powerful! Hiya! You punch the vegetables by full force. You, you, you knock over a tomato. Bananas aren't a vegetable, they're a fruit, and that's a carrot. Neither of those are in tomato sauce. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn! Yeah! Uh, we'll just create this into a bowl later. But for now! We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in the pot? Fiercely or carefully? With fierce and ferocity, I throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottle. Yeah, I'm into it. All right. 
Now it's time to stir the pasta. As the general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press the button, press that Z. Stir harder. Harder! Harder! Ugh, let me do it. Oh, I thought it was pressing pretty fast. Oh, my throat. <laughs> this oh, that's killing my throat. I thought it's tearing at the shreds. <laughs> that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't let anything back. Oh. Hotter. Hotter. Darn it. Hotter. Uh, wait, that's too. My passion is pretty hot. It's pretty big. I got a lot of passion. Ah. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Um, I think we should do a bit of scrapbooking. I think that'd be fun. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, I'm human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. Not at all, this was fun. If we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got! Yeah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Well, I'm not gonna punch you, I'm just gonna give a swing at Undyne with all your might! It only does one damage. What? That's the best you can manage? You gonna attack me at full force? You just can't muster any, any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid. I hate that word. Ser Serin Serine Sar Sacharin Stick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen. Human, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. But talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the living, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. Uh, but, uh, somewhere less else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you. I'll be able to talk to you. Well, see you later, punk! Bye, Undyne. We can actually call him right now. Hey, that's Undyne's house. It's a great place to... Uh, 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 yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Oh, are we, Undyne? Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. I love this, too. Well, I guess that completes everything in Snowden. Uh, not Snowden. Everything in Waterfall. So, I guess our next course of action is to take the river person and head back over to Hotland. I guess I'll uh, meet you all there.